Hello and thank you for viewing our demo. Today we're introducing the Shimmer Tree IMU sensor. The Shimmer Tree sensor is recognized as one of the leading tools in the research industry for wearable wireless sensing of inertial motion signals. The sensor has been used extensively in hundreds of research applications and in commercial use in areas such as gait and fault analysis, movement monitoring, sports science and many, many more. The device provides academic and medical researchers, biomedical engineers, data scientists and product development teams with a best-in-class tool for data capture that is robust, unobtrusive and ready to use right away. This video aims to give a brief introduction on how the Shimmer Tree IMU unit can be used to capture motion sensing data using Shimmer's consensus software platform. Firstly, let's introduce the hardware required to collect data. Beginning with the sensor. As you can see here, the Shimmer Tree sensor is lightweight, weighing just 23 grams with dimensions of 51 millimeters by 34 by 14. Each shimmer sensor comes with a wrist strap and waist strap for positioning the sensor on the body. The location of the sensor will depend on your specific application. For today's example, you will see two shimmer tree units placed on my wrist. The shimmer tree offers best data quality with integrated 10 degrees of freedom inertial sensing via accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer and altimeter. More detailed specs on the shimmer tree can be seen on our website. The next fundamental piece of hardware to mention is the dock or base. For today's example, you can see our consensus base 15, which enables the multi-sensor management of up to 15 shimmer units at once simultaneously. We also have a smaller base 6 and a single dock that provides similar functionality when working with smaller quantities of sensor. The base connects directly to your PC or laptop by a USB port. The base has two primary purposes, configuring and charging your sensors. The base works in conjunction with the Shimmer consensus software and enables users to configure multiple sensing units at once. This configuration includes the ability to set the sampling rate, enabling disabling what sensing signals you want to measure and setting the appropriate firmware you require for your data collection. The base also allows for simultaneous charging of multiple units. We are now going to focus our attention on our consensus software application. For the purposes of this exercise we are using the consensus pro version of this software. When you start the application, you are presented with three core tabs. Manage Devices, Live Data, and Manage Data. I will explain the function of each tab in this video. The first tab is Manage Devices. This tab is essential for when you are starting your trials as it allows you to perform a number of functions including programming the firmware, configuring the devices, and importing the data from the device's SD card. All these functions should be considered before you start a trial. Today we are going to collect both logged and live data from two Shimmer Tree IMU devices simultaneously. The Shimmer Tree has an inbuilt SD card for collecting data and also has Bluetooth capability for streaming data live. The first step in the data collection process is to ensure the firmware is set correctly. I select the two units I want to collect data from, then click the firmware here, and the firmware I want to use is Log and Stream, so I simply select this and then write to the units. Next we must configure these two units. Click configure here. First thing I want to do is set a unique trial name. Following this I want to consider what logging method to use. With the undock dock method, when I undock the shimmer from the consensus base it will automatically start logging data to the in inbuilt SD card on the unit. With the user button option, the orange user button on the shimmer acts as a start and stop function. For the purposes of this I'm going to use the undock dock option. Following this, I want to decide on what signals I want to enable for this trial. This is done by highlighting on the particular signal. If it's greyed out, it's not enabled. If it's highlighted, it is enabled. The range can also be set in these signals. For the purpose of this trial, I'm going to use wide range accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer. The sampling rate can also be set in my various units. So as you can see, on both units I have this set at 50 Hz. Again, I'm going to change this to 100 Hz. This is done by inputting into the box, pressing enter, like so. We can also add algorithms to this trial if we so wish, such as 9 Dr. Quaternium, 6 Dr. Quaternium, and there's also an activity module. The final tab to consider is reviewing our calibration settings. At this point, if I'm happy with the sensing signals I've enabled, and the various settings, I can write these settings to the shimmers with pressing right click down here. 
So my two units are now ready to start collecting data. Firstly, I'm going to undock the units from the consensus phase. As I mentioned, with the undock dock method, these units are now collecting data to the Shimmer's inbuilt SD card. This is verified by the flashing green LED on the units. The LEDs on the Shimmer units indicate what state they are in. The other option, which was the user button, if I selected that by pressing the user button on and off, would log to the SD card or not. For simplicity, I'll place these units on my left. And on my right wrist. The units can be placed on whatever body locations are appropriate for your trial. Next I'm going to introduce you to the live data tab on our consensus software. This as you might have guessed is where live data can be visualized. First thing you will need to do is ensure the devices you want to stream data from are paired with a PC or laptop and visible in consensus. Following this we select the devices we want to stream from, connect the Bluetooth and once the Bluetooth connection is established we can begin streaming signals from these devices. We can also record data from these devices and store in a local database on this software application. There are a number of different options for plotting the, the signals. We can select signals from multiple sensors on one plot, or we can add different plots like so for different signals on different units. The, settings, the plot settings can also be configured with various options such as changing the X and Y scale range, X and Y axis scale range. Another interesting option when recording live data is to add event markers that can highlight moments of interest. You can add event markers like so. There are two types of event markers. The pulse adds a single marker to the data, while toggle sets the event marker over a period that is defined by the user pressing, starting and stopping the toggle event marker. I'll show a couple examples here. Pulse is a single marker, as you can see, while the toggle is defined by start stop. These event markers are time correlated with the data you're currently recording. So I've now completed collecting data for this demo. The next step is to retrieve the data. Firstly, the live stream data is automatically saved onto the local database. I can see this under the Manage Data tab under the trial name I said earlier, video. Next step is to import the log data from the SD from the unit's SD cards. I'll now place the units back into the consensus base. see both units are now recognized here and I'll select these. I'll then move down to the import button which will begin reading the unit's SD cards. This process is quite straightforward and intuitive. On completion, you will see the data is now in the Manage Data tab. So for the trial name video, I have a PC recording and I have an SD recording. The final step is to export this data. We select the trial or trials we want to export. The raw data can be exported in a number of different data and time formats to the user preference. Also, also at this point, filters and algorithms can be applied to the data if appropriate. Finally, we can see the data has been exported and is available in a local folder on your PC. 
So that concludes our demo on collecting IMU data with the Shimmer 3 sensor and the Consensus software platform. We hope you found this video beneficial, and if you have any questions about the product or the data collection process, please email us at info at We look forward to hearing from you, and take care.